it's Tuesday. I really, 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 really contemplated vlogging yesterday and it just wasn't the day to vlog. We had a pretty bad day here yesterday and when it was all said and done, I thought about sitting down and talking and I was like, you know what? All I wanna do is power down tonight and not think about the day. So we're starting the week off on a Tuesday. Something exciting that did happen yesterday though, I got a really, really fun, cool PR package and I thought you guys might be interested in it. So I'm gonna show you guys that before I head out to run some errands. So Pacifica Beauty reached out to me and I was so excited. I've been buying from Pacifica for years and years and years. One of their perfumes was in my best purchases of 2022 video. So they sent me some goodies. They also asked if there was anything I wanted to try and I, there have been two things that were on my wish list. First was another one of their perfumes. This is the Neon Moon. It is sandalwood, jasmine, and smoky car cardamom. I don't know that word. I had heard someone say this is a dupe for the Ariana Grande cloud perfume. And I've never smelled the Ariana Grande perfume, but everyone talks about it. And this is a really interesting smelling scent. It doesn't really smell like anything I've ever, here, I'm not wearing anything, so I'll just spray myself. It doesn't smell like anything I've ever smelled before. And I like it. It's really, really different. And I think I'll like this a lot in the summer. It feels like a summery time scent. So I'm very excited. This has been on my wish list for a while. The other thing I said I wanted to try was, I didn't know they had cream blushes. This is called the Fluffy Blush. So I have the shades Pink Haze, Sunset, and Bloom here. I'm really excited to try out these blushes. And then they sent me a couple other things. I have a shampoo and conditioner from their Coco Peptide Damage Care line. That sounds really nice. I have, I'm very excited for this. This is called the Glow Baby Brightening Setting Mist, but it has an SPF of 45. So this is something I probably wouldn't add into like my makeup inventory because I don't feel like I'd use this as like a step in my makeup routine. This is something I would like keep with me on the go to like add a little SPF on my face throughout the day. They sent over their vegan, college, vegan collagen complex balm, like a lip balm. I actually tried this with Phoebe yesterday. It's vanilla cupcake. It's actually got a little bit of a tint to it. I don't wanna like fully squeeze it out, but it does have a little bit of a, let's see if you can see that, a little bit of a tint. Excited for that. Always love a lip balm. And then they also sent a volume powder. I've never actually tried something like this, I'm excited. And then this is something I would add to my makeup inventory, similar to the blushes. This is their Vegan Collagen Skin Solve Prime Blur and Hydrate Primer. I've never, I don't think I've ever, have I? You know what, I did have a, primer from them a few years ago that I fully used up. So I'm excited to try that. And then also two sheet masks, a brightening and a hydrate and plump. So thank you Pacifica. I'm very excited for this. Like this is a brand that gets me very excited to try new things. I just got back. So we have a once upon a child. It's about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes from our house. I don't get over there too often because it's kind of like, it's not near anything I ever need to go towards. So I have to like very consciously be going there. It's basically, I wanna say, I like to call it like the Play-Doh's closet of kids stuff because like you take your stuff there and you can sell it and then it's like a consignment shop. Anyway, I had a lot of goals for like summer stuff, things I wasn't able to find, a pair of water shoes for Phoebe. I like have a very specific style I want to get for her and they just didn't have the specific style I was looking for and I wanted a tankini. They didn't have any tankinis in her size. They just had bikinis and I'm not anti-bikini but like if I'm getting her a bikini, I wanted it to be very cute. <laughs> and a lot of them were just like, meh, it didn't really interest me. So I'll start with shoes. Um, everything, I'm not gonna go over the price of everything. Everything was anywhere from 250 to 450 in this haul though. Actually I got her two shoes and they both are the Wonder Nation brand from Walmart. So first are these little <laughs> fake Vans. I have little black low top Vans. So I'm excited for her to match me. And then I also got her these sandals. I felt like they looked a little bit heavy duty for the Summertime, I thought those would be good. Got her some t-shirts. It's so funny. I was actually wanting to find her a Hakuna Matata shirt. She just randomly breaks out singing Hakuna Matata all the time. She is obsessed with Pumbaa. That's her favorite. And I wasn't even in the middle of looking and I found this one. I was excited for her. I got her an Elmo shirt. She does have a Sesame Street shirt right now, but it's an 18 month size. And she's like, when she wears it, you can tell it's too tiny. So got her new Sesame Street shirt. I got her this I Heart Philly shirt. This girl loves her some pretzels, so I think she will really like that. Very much into our princess phase. There will be lots of princesses in the video. This is the only princess shirt I wound up getting her. And then for some reason, I just saw this and I was like, I feel like Phoebe would think this is so funny. So I got her this giraffe shirt. I got her two dresses. First one is a pineapple dress. 
I thought this was really cute. And I got her a Minnie Mouse dress. I just really liked the colors of this one. And like I said, I couldn't find her a tankini, but I did get her a, a one piece. <laughs> it says mermaid hair, don't care, because that girl has some wild hair and she really likes seashells. I got her three stretchy pants. It's so funny, they look so similar, but it's like Cat and Jack, Old Navy H&M, but they're all very similar. Last summer, I really found that only like these style of like more biker short. Shorts really work on her body type, especially with shorts. She's just very narrow, and I found like anything else didn't fit tight enough and would just fall off her. Then the last thing I really wanted to get were summer PJs and I felt like they didn't have a lot of summer PJs there. I found this one set that was with like the regular clothes, but I'm like 99% sure this is summer PJs. So it's just like a short set. Princesses. And then I got two nightgowns. She's worn nightgowns a couple times, not very often, but we'll see. <laughs> so this one is Belle. And then this one is like all of the princesses. That is my summer thrifting haul. I put a lot of effort today into doing some cleaning that needed to get done in our bedroom, but for an update, if you missed last week, I sort of put the aquarium in Phoebe's head. So we've been doing a countdown and teaching her how to wait and be patient to do something you want to do. So Friday we'll be at the aquarium, which should be interesting. It's Thursday night. I'm disheveled and in my pajamas. Where are you? <laughs> Where are your kids? Mm, let's not. Sleeping. For okay, now. tomorrow is the infamous aquarium trip. One day left. I. Hey, Luigi. I have decided. I can't tell how close you are. I really hope you're not super zoomed in on my face. And now, and now I'm not. Okay, perfect. So, I've decided I don't want to take more than I need. It's light though. Let's switch the lights. That's usually what I do. Ooh. Is that better? Jeez. So I've decided for the aquarium, I don't want to take more than I need, aka I'm only going to bring the diaper bag and leave it in the car. I am going to be packing this little backpack here, and I'm about to show the one and only Scott what we will be bringing with us tomorrow. So yeah. we're doing one change of clothes, as I don't know if anything's going to go chaotic. Last time I was there, I was drenched by a stingray, so just in case, because today she freaked out about having wet pants. So just in case, an extra set of pants, shirt, and socks. I am going with two diapers and then half a pack of wipes. I'd really prefer not to have to change your diaper in the aquarium, but for safety. Disposable, disposable changing pad. Our first aid kit, which has regular first aid, has medicine, it has her EpiPen, extra pacifier, stuff. I don't know. This is basically from when we went to Sesame Place. So this was our like go-to bag. And then hand sanitizer. The <laughs> most important part of tomorrow. And then I'm, and I'm going to put the hand sanitizer in the front pocket so it's easy to get in there. And then other than that, I'm going to pack some snacks for her because online it said you can bring snacks. I'm going to bring her water bottle. And then as far as like lunch food, I figure we'll just have her eat on the way home. Two things. One, that was actually Mario, not Luigi. Unless that was Luigi before. And oh, I didn't even places. say what that is. My parents brought photo albums <laughs> over today. It's Phoebe, a big box of them. Phoebe likes the Disney World ones. Second, can you please post this before we go so that I can look back at this video and know what we brought because I have no idea what you just said. No, but do we want to show them the thing? Yeah, it's what's your thing, so okay. you can show them. Do you want to give the background and I'll get the thing? You read the Matthew Perry memoir. Why don't you talk and to you the liked camera it. while I get the thing? <laughs> talk to the camera. It wasn't a I memoir. Also, what was it? It was a memoir. Autobiography. I thought it was a memoir. What's the difference between a memoir and an autobiography? What's the difference between a memoir and an autobiography? <sighs> oh. Is this the content? Is this the content you came here for? So you liked the memography war. Sure. And you wanted to read more. Yeah. But we're trying to like declutter. Well, it's not even declutter. And it's a very well, I'm saying that it's a it's having books and having like a lot like these big books and stuff like in the house. It, in 2023, it's just when you could have something like this, that I'm kind of revealing what, what it is, can you guess? Well, but it wasn't that it's for me. Like, 
Because kind of what we're doing is borrowing books from the library. And I don't have a problem borrowing books from the library. For yeah. me, it's like having it go back and forth. This to is the actually library. really this good. This is easier than going back so and forth we got to the library. This Kindle Paper White. This is, is a Generation 11. Refurbished. I don't know what generation they're on right now. Yeah, it's a refurbished. So we got this for like half price. So um, I'll tell you what. So book far, I'm it's reading. working. The book I'm reading, it wasn't like the number one on my like want to read list but all those uh, books were like super reserved at the library so i'm like really low on the totem pole yeah maybe if but you guys are this. if you guys are interested we could do a like a how to because it I was it was a little to. complicated how to get the the libby app books onto the onto kindle. the kindle but, but we it's did it this. it's called Maybe you should talk to someone. I don't Don't yeah, don't pay attention to like all the other books. That just like that's just how Amazon does it. They're just trying anyway, to sell you books. The ri hi. So I can't see. Okay. Okay. Here we go. So I chose Show us again was, what the book was. Maybe you should talk to someone. I can't hang, it's not focusing. It's a screen, that's why. There we go. I got it. Anyway. The reason I picked this one, well, it was on my list and it was the only one really on my list that wasn't already taken out. Rachel Bilson is always posting about this on Instagram. Mm. I don't know if she knows the author or if one of the stories about is about her. I'm on chapter two right now and it's written by a therapist. So you're I don't know if it's like- chapter two already? Well, they're really, it's like, it. I don't know if they're chapters. They're like- Give yourself credit. Stories. I don't know how to explain it. It's written by a therapist. So I don't know if it's her therapist or her friends that are therapists. So we know. got Libby it's on so there. Far. I'm going to see if I can uh, find some other books for you. And also... I, I wanted to read that book you sent me. I've heard what? that one. Yeah, I've heard what? of that one. It's a long book. But yeah, it's cool. I'm okay with it's, What's it called? Long. It's called Educated. Educated. And it's a, I was it's, like number 200 and something. It's just for... like the topic you were telling me, like the Duggars. It's, it's kind of like that. It's fine. But it's, it's good. I should find a cute picture of me. That's how we should end this clip. And Excuse me. Also, we gotta see if we can get the Cloud Library books on here too. Let me which, show. if we got these on here, I would assume okay, we get those. That'll give you even more options. So this is what Phoebe was so excited about. In 1992, I went to Disney World. <laughs> Let's see if we can find a really cute picture of me at Disney World. Oh my God, please. These pants, <laughs> those pants go. Check out these pants from the 1990s. Can you even see that? Yeah. There's me with Minnie yeah, and Goofy. Yeah, May 1992. Minnie Look. and Goofy. And this is how I toured the entire <laughs> world of Disney on my dad's shoulders. Very cute. Yeah, so Phoebe was really having fun looking at these today. Anything else? I'm gonna go lie down and read my book. Sweet, I'm excited for you. We didn't even need to plug this into anything. It was all wirelessly. Yes. Like, remember when we used to have Magic. an iPod? You have to, like, plug it in, like, copy the songs over and all this stuff. But it's 2023. We d you rented out the book, reserved a book, whatever you call it. Checked it out. What do you call it, like, when you do it from a library? <laughs> Check it out. From electronically on the app. And then how did you send it to it? You just, like, did you have to click a button? Can I show you something that's so triggering? This My is triggering. wrote on... The container photos. So? I always put like a tape so it doesn't go on. Life the hack. <laughs> he doesn't watch your vlogs, huh? Right. What? Well, there are photos Good in night. there. Good night. I have had the hardest time getting my life together this week. It's just been, I don't know what it's been, but we went to the aquarium yesterday. It wasn't bad, it wasn't great. It just was what it was. I feel like we're both just like in survival mode this past week. I think it's just, it's just one of those weeks. We baked these mini banana muffins with her this morning. I used to make these for her when she was a baby because they, uh, they're egg free. It's kind of like one of those like baby food recipes where it's like no sugar at all. And I was like, I wonder if we put a couple chocolate chips on the top, if that'll make her eat them. And it did, which is shocking. He went to his mom's house today with his one sister and they were making vegan Homentashin with her because Homentashin typically have a lot of eggs in the recipe. If you're not familiar, Purim, the Jewish holiday is on Monday and usually that's the dessert you make for the holiday. And I already told them, I was like, I'm not making those again until she outgrows this allergy because from what I understand, most kids do. And it's a very intensive process making Homentashin and like, 
I'm not making crappy ones with all the work it takes. So they said they turned out terrible, which I'm not shocked about. But I just would rather wait it out and make the good ones someday. You can't tell me that stuffed peppers doesn't look good. I'm making stuffed peppers tonight. The Burke does not want to participate. However, she very kindly cut the tops of all the peppers off. I have four peppers <clears throat> left because Phoebe took one orange pepper today and I'm leaving one red for them uh, for tomorrow. For us, I guess, for tomorrow. And the Burke also cut half this onion uh, for the sandwiches for tomorrow. And I have tomatoes and I'll show you the rest in a second. You can come with me and throw this in. So I don't know how this is going to work, but I got leftover edamame that Phoebe didn't eat. This is a uh, coconut over there. Here's the tops of the peppers. We didn't slice these peppers off from earlier today, but whatever. So there's that and then we and then I have uh, you can see some garlic back there. And this is the onion. Diced up onion. Tell me that doesn't look good with all those uh, vegetables in there. Now I'm just gonna put some salt and pepper in here and I'm gonna fire it up and let it fire this up. Coo 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 coo. I'm gonna throw some salt and pepper in here. Kosher salt, that's a lot of salt. Which is funny because uh, I'm using it's taco seasoning, I'm gonna use 25 less sodium. The idea is that I have this like kind of go to uh, taco meat that I make and I'm just kind of doing that but with like extra vegetables and then I'm just gonna throw them inside the these peppers here and put cheese on top put it in the oven and that'll be that so in the meantime while that's getting hot and cooking whatever I am also going to make a chicken cheesesteak sandwich thing for the burke so check back in uh, when I'm about to put the peppers, fill the peppers and put them in the oven, you guys can see that. Alright, ready to be stuffed. Looks pretty good if you ask me. Okay, how do they look? Stuffed four peppers here, and I'm going to top them with cheese in a second. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of cheese on each one. Top it with cheese, top it with cheese. Now I'm going to throw it in the oven for 20 minutes. And we'll see how it looks after that. Was I really recording the whole time? I don't know if I was, but that's what they look like after. Yay! 20, it's been 20 minutes. I hope I haven't been recording the whole time. But this is, uh, this is what the stuff covers with. They look awesome! They look so good. I'm excited to dig in. Good morning. Sunday. Starbucks. Scott got us fresh bagels this morning, which is always wonderful. I just want to show off <sighs> Phoebe's bagel. I don't was think people, once. some people want to see that because it's like, it's been in her mouth and it's kind of gross. Well, whatever. this used to have sesame seeds on it. Now it doesn't. Yeah, she likes <clears throat> the sesame seeds and the crust. Toasty yays. These are Girl Scout cookies. Are they new? I think they're new. Those okay. are huge. I cannot eat a whole one. Oh, good, there's a no. broken one. They're, oh. They're oh, wow. huge. Oh wow, it's literally like these a are, toast. These are huge. So they're, look, at, look at my hand. They're French huge. toast dipped in icing. They smell good. You're gonna like these. I think <laughs> I picked these out. <laughs> I'm gonna like you them. You really like French toast. Do you share? Do you share? Oh. Oh. You saw that. You saw that. This one's like cracked too. Oh. Oh, that's a very good cookie. That might be a new favorite for me. It tastes a lot like cinnamon okay. toast crunch. Yeah. It's very sweet and cinnamony. So, we had a pretty stressful day, um, pretty stressful week. I feel like this, why is it so strangely angled? I did it. I feel like this entire vlog has been very mundane. We just had a rough week. I was hoping today being Sunday, it was like, fresh start. Nope. Did you tell him she didn't nap? I didn't. She didn't nap. She was awake from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. Straight. We were looking, uh, you sent me a post online that says she's a HS toddler. Yeah. A high sensi highly sensitive, high sensitivity, highly sensitive, and like all the, you know, checkbox hit. So, I don't know. It's nice to try and put a label on it. Like, I feel like... My mom sent me a reel time. today. I just sent it yeah. to you. 
I'll just have to look. I feel like we've come up with a bunch of different sort of, uh, you know, names to, like, like identify her as, uh, like, like classify her as. Mm -hmm. uh, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe this is it. It's, it's like, what I was trying to say is, is, what does that do for us? And it's like, maybe knowing that we could use different tools for those individuals on her. What were you going to say? You're done. You're just, you're looking at me like, <laughs> wrap it up. I have something to say. No, I just haven't edited the vlog at all yet. This is the vlog. I know, I haven't even... Oh, this is the end? Yeah, I haven't... <laughs> it's not going to be ready for tomorrow. <laughs> so, I started off like this, and I'm ending it like this. Oh. Feels great. Here's, here's on a positive note. We ended the lemonades, which basically I only ate. Did Phoebe eat one she or two of the lemonades? She might have tried one. I don't think she liked them. And now we're gonna start this next week with these guys. I don't know. What do you want from me? Come here for the jokes. Oh, also the uh, so the stuffed peppers I had last night. I showed you they're really good. I had so I ate two. I have two left over, and I was like, Rachel was like, they're just a gimmick. And I'm like, yeah, they that? are. Yeah, yeah, you said that last night. You're like, they're just not a, I mean, you use the different phrase, like it's uh, it's like all the show or whatever. So uh, it's a gimmick, basically. It was, it was synonym for gimmick. Anyway, I was like, yeah, it is. Cause I was like, how do you eat this? Like you're just like, Argh. but then I was like able to cut into fourths and then you like put the, the chicken on top of the fourth of the um, pepper. And I was like, able to eat it. But you like didn't expect this taco. tutorial, how to eat a stuffed pepper. And I was like, this is actually pretty good. So if you make a uh, stuffed taco, stuff, if you make stuffed peppers, cut them into fourths and eat them like that. Or maybe even half so you can kind of like, anyway, I'm going to, yeah, close it anyway. I'm gonna make them, look at all this uh, stuff at the bottom here. It's the sauce from uh, just like spilling out. Uh, all right, see ya.